somewhere over there will be the trig point. I can't quite see it at the moment. But I'm up the top now, having come up from the other side there. My the gate I need is just not far from just along here now. Um, I've just been taking lots of photos of the reference points, the um, aerials up there, different trees, and um, there's a few mountain bikers out today. There's a woman picking mushrooms or something in the field over there, but I couldn't see any cows. Um, and somewhere over there, can't quite see, but somewhere over there will be the trig point. Um, uh, and I'll, you know, I might might fit that in another time. That goes straight, bisects straight through the middle when you do the trick point. Um, I'll just zoom in over there. I don't know if that's it. Could be. I can see a person, I think. Or is that? Not quite sure. It might be behind that mound, the trick point. Well, the weather's been good. I've been right round. This is the area of outstanding natural beauty, the Mendip Hills. I came up from Piney Slights, up by the, 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 the farm, Tynion's farm, over the top there, down the parade, past the big beef cattle, along past the little coombs with the streams. And now here we are, look. Here is one of my well-mentioned reference points. The Mendip Aerials. See? Quite a nice looking background to them and the field. I've taken photos. <coughs> well, no, just turn off a minute. Kelly reminded me of, um, is it Paul Whitehouse? Gone fishing. He just reminded me of him actually then. I don't know why. That uh, could be my age. Some of the heather is still out. A pretty little small bunch there. Very sturdy plants, aren't they? And the gorse. They come out, whatever the weather. But I can't make out where the trick point is, but I think it's over there. I can sort of see people. Um... No more people coming now. Let's just go up here a minute and see if I can home in on it. Yeah, I reckon it must be. Somewhere up there, anyway. Lovely clouds from up here. Panoramic views. All around and up. in a minute. Right, so we've got here. I haven't been in the middle, but I'll keep that for another day. I mean, in theory, I could go back that way, go to the trig point, and back down to... What do you call it? Piney sites, but no, I'm not. I'm going to do the Longwood way. That's where I'm going. There's a big long 
processional route there, which I've done loads of times. You just follow that or that one, it'll take you up to the checkpoint. It is up there. I might better see it a bit later. But I'm not bothered. I'm just going to have a look in this field just to check if there's any cows. There's a woman walking about and she was, I don't know, she's looking for mushrooms I think. She was down on the ground a minute ago. So what I'm going to do, I'm heading over that way across the ditch. I can't see any cows. I don't know if it's muddy so I might climb this fence and do it. Because quite often down there there's huge puddles. So I'm not doing that route. So come through here like I've done a thousand times. But instead of going down there and there's a stile down there halfway across, I'm just going to get over this gate and go down across this field, across another field. <sighs> can't see any horses, can't see any sheep, can't see any people. Oh yeah, I can see a person. Um, and that's me. I attract people to me though, so... Right, one, two... One, two, three. That's it. Lean forward. Over. Grab hold of that in case this gets unstable. Lean forward. That's it. So there we go. I've crossed over that. We're leaving the area of Outstanding Natural Beauty. The style will be down there and there's a track, that track there will take you to Velvet Bottom and, and there's a way around. There is time today in theory, but it still would be under pressure for me to do that. Now what I don't want to end up is, I like doing my walks alone, right? I don't really want to collect anyone en route because I don't do that, you know. But I do tend to attract people to me. So there we are. There we've got the aerials. There, look. That's another view of them. People are learning my... And there's loads of crows and rooks and probably ravens up there. Uh... The clouds are keeping off and I'm going to make my way down here and cross further down. That's plan A. That's not to say that there aren't cow negotiations that have got to be done yet. Because there are. There could be, put it that way. So what I'm doing, I'm making my way down this valley. Now I'm going to cross over and go up the other side. And I'm going down where those trees are. Longwood's the other side of this hill. I'm following a natural path here that someone else has done. Possibly an animal. Uh, it's also possible that a cow's been taken in to be milked. Uh, but there's a lot of sheep dung here. A lot of sheep dung. Yeah. Like I say, water runs down through there. It's like a stream, and down the bottom, it's like um, whether it's a star, it's a tributary probably to the River Axe. Down by Cheddar, you see all these streams coming off the Mendips like this. This is this could even be the source of the Axe up here. But it might not be, it might be further over. Um, right, I'm going to turn off for a bit. Take a right, I've just come across a almost empty field there where sometimes there's cows and sheep. There was a few sheep there 
I noticed from a distance one of the fields that I have to cross to get into Longwood, a massive herd is heading back to farm. Now it could be that it's for milking reasons and some of them were running and it's a massive herd followed by a, the farmer and the jeep. I'm just going to zoom in so that you can see a lot of them have already gone in but this is a really really big herd of cows. See? Look at them all. Now, massive, massive herd. And this is the field I've got to go through. Look, they're running up the back. Still more coming. There's the dog. Two, two free dogs and the farmer. Now, what's happening is I have to get back. If they all need to be milked, right? It's about the time I need to get back. because they'll come back into that field. Now that just about gives me time to go down this field here, cross over a stream, climb up the other side and get into that field before the cows are released back. Because sometimes they're quite frolicky when they've been milked. I've seen dead sheep here before, now they've been savaged by a dog. Hello, all right everyone? So I don't really want to rush this part of the walk either really because, but I, the cow thing is so important. Um, is he stopping to shut the gate or anything? Let's have a look. Or is he going straight through? No, he's taking them back to the farm. Right over there now, they've gone back. I just zoom in, there's the, There's the, the farmer in his tractor thing taking all the sheep, all the cows, a massive herd. He hasn't shut any gates. So this just gives me time to get over the stile and back because there's probably someone... There'll be another farmer probably starting the milking and they'll get released as soon as they're milked. So, what I've got to do, that is, that's bloody good timing, isn't it? I mean, that was a massive herd. That's got to be a couple hundred cows. I'd say at least 200, if not three. It was massive. That's over there. And that's, that field there leads up back into Longwood. I have to get across that to get to the stile. Um, once I had to wait, they do move pretty quick once they start moving cows. I had to wait about 20 minutes until this the herd moved and there was just one cow messing about. But eventually it did move and I was able to, I think I was trying to get out of it. Um, but yeah, they, they would have come from right over here and they'll come back as soon as they've been milked. So that's good. So I'm sorry if this is a bit rushed everyone, but I've left the area of Outstanding Natural Beauty, which was right up there. Um, and I'm making my way now across this field, which can also have cows in by the way. Um, <coughs> there are various ways you can get round it. There's gates you can get over and things like that. If you act to you find another way, you know what I mean? You soon find another way if you have to, I tell you. <coughs> so I don't know how far he's got all... They got go quite a way, but whether they charge back out as soon as they're milked... Um, say they milk 50 at a time, or 100, they might have enough milking machines to, to look at this cow back there, look. They might have enough, and there, they might have enough milking machines to milk all of them at once. Got to open and get out here. Because you often wonder if there's a bull sat round, see? I mean, that, that ain't that old, look. 
So it could be that the cows that were in here, I can see cows right up there actually. Let's turn around. We've been lucky today. Look. There's a big herd up there as well. They were down here. So there's cow pack everywhere. So once again, I have managed to find my way. Let's hope I can get out. It's normally this, this is uh, access. Is that, is that bit open? Oh, I can't quite see. Oh, there's a stile there. They've put a stile there. That's new. Hey, I've got to get back. Once we're halfway across that field, it'll be right. It'll be fine. There won't be any panic. My God, they've put a stile. They should have put that up the other end. Right, let's just put that there a minute while I get over. Right, I've just... 